Good morning. Welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Leah. Um, you're with St. Francis Episcopal Church on November 7th, Tuesday. I was glad when they said to me, let us go to the house of the Lord. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent for the sake of your son, Jesus Christ. Have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us all our sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen us in all goodness and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep us in eternal life. Amen. Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Psalm 61, hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in the house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings, for you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name, at length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day I will fulfill my vows. Psalm 22, 62. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold, so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me? All of you together, as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall. They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly, my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales they are lighter than a breath. All of them together, but no trust in extortion. In robbery, robbery take no empty pride. Though wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it. That power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord. For you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The first lesson is a reading from the book of Nehemiah. Now at the dedication of the wall of Jerusalem, they sought out the Levites in all their places to bring them to Jerusalem to celebrate the dedication with rejoicing, with thanksgiving and with singing, with cymbals, harps, and lyres. The companies of the singers gathered together from the circuit around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Netophathites, also from Beth-Gigal and from the region of Jeba 
and Asmava, Meth, Veth. For the singers have built their them built for themselves villages around Jerusalem, and the priests and the Levites purified themselves, and they purified the people and the gates and the wall. Then I bought the leaders of Judah up upon the wall and appointed two great companies that gave thanks and went in procession. One went to the right on the wall to the dung gate, and Maisiah, Shemaiah, Elazar, Uzi, Jehanahan, Malkajah, Alam, and Azar. And the singers sang with Jezerai as their leader. They offered great sacrifices that day and rejoiced, for God had made them rejoice with great joy. The women and the children also rejoiced. The joy of Jerusalem was heard far away. On that day, men were appointed over the chambers for the stores, the contributions, the first fruits and the tithes to gather into them the portions required by the law for the priests and the, for the Levites from the field belonging to the towns. For Judah rejoiced over the priests and Levites who ministered. They performed the service of their God and the service of purification, as did the singers and the gatekeepers, according to the command of David and his son Solomon. For in the days of David and Esaph, long ago, there was a leader of the singers, and there were songs of praise and thanksgiving to God. In the days of Zerubbabel and the days of Nehemiah, all Israel gave the daily portions for the singers and the gatekeepers. They set apart that which was for the Levites, and the Levites set apart that which was for the descendants of Aaron. The word of the Lord. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple on the throne of your majesty. Glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. The second lesson is a reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. The kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field, which someone found and hid. Then in his joy he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant in search of fine pearls. On finding one pearl of great value, he went and sold all that he had and bought it. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a net that was thrown into the sea and caught fish of every kind. When it was full, they drew it ashore, sat down, and put the good in baskets, but threw out the bad. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come out and separate the evil from the righteous and throw them into the furnace of fire, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Have you understood all this? They answered, Yes. And he said to them, Therefore, every scribe who has been trained for the kingdom of heaven is like the master of a household who brings out of his treasure what is new and what is old. The word of the Lord. Splendor and honor and kingly power are yours by right, O Lord our God. For you created everything that is, and by your will they were created and have their being. And yours by right, O Lamb that was slain, for with your blood you have redeemed for God. From every family, language, people, and nation, a kingdom of priests to serve our God. And so to him who sits upon the throne, and to Christ the Lamb, be worship and praise, dominion and splendor, forever and forevermore. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let's say together the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. 
He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. For as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Almighty and merciful God, it is only by your gift that your faithful people offer you true and laudable service. Grant that we may run without stumbling to obtain your heavenly promises through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Prayer for Willibord, Archbishop of Utrecht, missionary to Frisia. Pour out your Holy Spirit, O God, upon your church in every land, that like your servant Boniface, who might proclaim the gospel to all nations, that your kingdom may be enlarged and that your holy name might be glorified in all the world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you, and the same Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O God, the author of peace and lover of conquered, to know you is eternal life, and to serve you is perfect freedom. Defend us, your humble servants, in all assaults of our enemies, that we, surely trusting in your defense, may not fear the power of any adversaries, through the might of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, Receive our supplications and prayers which we offer before you for all members of your Holy Church, that in their vocation and ministry they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we are unworthy servants, give you humbly thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, but giving ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, for to whom with you in the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you, and you have promised your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen.